The Congo River is also known as the Sahel River. Places near the equator generally experience hot and dry wet climate. Here the sun shines brightly in the morning and by noon it is very hot. The heat draws up moisture forming heavy fog. This is a heavy light for the light climate can be happily described as ever hot and ever wet. So, with the climate in the Congo region, children, a unique climate too. A major part of the country lies in the basin of the Congo River. So, it, where it lies? It is near the Congo Basin. So, more population here is in the near the Congo Basin. So, from the name Congo River, Congo River name in the country, our country Congo is the middle country in the name it matter. So, after that, Congo is also a river. So, another name for Congo River is Zaire River. So, what is another name for Congo River? Zaire River. Zaire is Zaire River is the another name for the Congo River. Congo River is the name of the Zaire River. Zaire River. A major part of the country lies in the basin of the Congo River from which it derives its name. Congo one of the largest river in the world. So it is the one of the largest river in the world. Which is the world largest river. One of the world is the largest river. The Congo is also the world in the world. There is the largest river. It is joined by a number of tributaries from north and south of the equator. So for this Congo river also there are many tributaries are going to join from the equator. North and south. North as the south is equated in the world of the tributaries to the river, the Congo river. Okay, sorry. The river is navigable only in parts due to the occurrence of waterfalls such as the Living Stones, the Hinga Falls, and the Stainless Falls. So there are yes, some waterfalls. Which are the some waterfalls named Living Stones? Thank you. 
rainy also next vegetation the hot and humid climate helps the plants to grow faster the land is covered with thick forest the trees grow densely and come compete with each other for sunlight below the trees grow a large number of small trees shrubs and climbers the tall trees and the dense undergrowth make the forest almost dark even in the day time the forest is evergreen because there is a large variety of trees and they do not shed their leaves at the same time it is difficult to travel through this dense forest and thus rivers are used for traveling the forests are useful as they provide raw materials for many industries these forests are the largest reserves of hardwood trees such as mahogany and ebony the other trees include rubber coconut bamboo and alfalfa in some part of this land mostly in the south where the climate is not so hot and dry the vegetation is different instead of the dense forest there are grasslands with short trees such vegetation is called savanna so how is the vegetation in mana mana city is considered it is with good vegetation and mana city vegetation na chana is the hot temple there is a thick forest there is mostly covered by mo forest the trees grow densely and compete with each other for sunlight and the bisu chana kuitta irutha adre kadre mana kuda jaasti irutha din enagutte what happens there the trees will go grow very fastly the tree grow a large number of small trees enagutte thumba dodd dodd mara pedu adu kelidu enagutte matte shrubs garna hakodu climbers na hakodu chik chik gida garna hakodu so ithara hakodina ante it will look green green color so thumba adu kuda kanisodina enagutte it will got evergreen forest the tall trees and the dense undergrowth make the forest almost dark even in the day time in agutte green green agutte dark agutte so morning time en agutte kattu thara kanto why it is dark in the morning time also because there is this thickly forest area and en agutte a area full so the land is covered by mostly by trees more are covered by trees only so it is dark in the morning time also the forest is evergreen because there is a large variety of trees in and so the different types of trees can we know and they do not shed their leaves at the same time and the ele gud kuda udra like thumba bisla mane elu bartha idinu enante age growth agutte and the cheap roots enante matte it will develop to into a trees it is difficult to travel through dense forest and thus rivers are used for traveling so it is a big forest for traveling it is not good forest for forest are not good for traveling hence what they are doing what do we do so they use water for traveling the forests are useful as they provide raw materials for many industries these forests are the largest reserve of hardwood trees such as mahogany and ebony so what are what is forest gives us what is the use of forest children we get raw materials from forest no so some of the trees are there which are the trees name mahogany ebony and rose woods and are the some of the trees in the forest they gives us raw materials for the industries industry guys industry ka deal madte raw materials ko supply madte these forests are the largest reserve of hardwood trees hardwood trees ko ee forest mein namo nodbodu which are the hardwood trees 
mahogany and ebony the other trees include rubber trees are there coconut trees are there bamboo and all because these are the some trees we can see in this forest in some parts of this land mostly in the south where the climate is not so hot and wet the vegetation is different so to the south side of the congo the congo region and south side of the country there is a different climate in that region it is so it is not so hot only super district in the so it is not so wet also and the mild climate in the district is cooler region so what happens there is a different vegetation in the south part instead of dense forest there are grasslands with short trees so how there is there are the grasslands in the forest in a way not be north region congo region and the there are no forest in this region but to the south of the congo what happens there are grasslands with short trees so that will be called savanna what is savanna means grasslands with short trees as vegetation is called savanna now we are going to learn the location of congo see children this is the location of democratic republic of congo so see red lines is there blue lines district boundary uh, a major airport city town distant capital national capital and scale so this is the location hey this is the location of the congo is for democratic republic of congo national online project so how we can find out all the sea routes and land routes we can identify the river in mark children see red color mark the river main roads dark means thick red so like this in red color means that is main road so small red color is secondary road side road so they are shown the symbols in this map also So we are the other other the children. So next, wildlife, the people, mineral resources, means of transport. This we are going to learn in next class, children. So today, in a this month, we are going to continue this lesson in another class. Understood, children. So time to recall the Democratic Republic of Congo is an important country in the equatorial forest region. It is the third largest country in Africa, which is the third largest country in Africa. Congo is the third largest country in Africa. It is the capital of Congo. Capital of the Congo region. Capital. It is the capital of that region. 